Taxi 1, it's 6 o'clock. There now follows a party election broadcast by the Ecology Party. Planet Earth and its future. That's what this broadcast is all about. They haven't featured much in any other broadcast because they haven't got the vote. But the goals of the Ecology Party are different. They're those of the whole green movement, peace, liberation and survival. With the success of the Green Party in Germany, green politics has come of age. We not only have the vision, we have the practical policies to sort things out now. And not before time. Our planet is being turned into a wasteland, and contrary to the popular myth of this and every other election, we're not getting any better off as a result. Every threat to the Earth is a threat to us. Yet day by day we witness the accelerating loss of land, fresh air and clean water. And with it, our health, our communities, our quality of life. These aren't just the unfortunate side effects of an otherwise perfect system. They're symptoms of an aggressive, destructive, soulless way of life. A way of life the other parties are only too happy to keep ticking over. And all of us are the victims of their short-sightedness. The truth is, we live in a world already at war, where people are at war with each other and humanity is at war with the planet. The ever-increasing risk of a nuclear holocaust, with Europe as the likely theatre of war, says it all. And remember, their theatre is our holocaust. It means watching our children die, because children die first from the effects of radiation. Here at Greenham, the planned deployment of crews brings that holocaust a little nearer. Ours is the only approach which will rid the world of all weapons of mass destruction. Unilateral nuclear disarmament and an end to Britain's involvement in the arms trade are just the first steps on the road to peace. You cannot blame anybody else for the arms race. It is your fault and it is mine because our taxes have paid for these weapons and our silence has approved them. We must no longer be silent. We are the stewards of this earth and it is our responsibility to remove every nuclear weapon and close down every nuclear reactor. The next generation of nuclear reactors will cost 20 billion pounds. For that, we could insulate every home and factory in the country and create hundreds of thousands of jobs. In the coming age of the microchip, reindustrialization can only create more unemployment. It already costs 18 billion pounds to keep 4 million on the dole. How many robots will we need to pay the dole for 5, 6 million? What makes this crisis all the more absurd is that there are alternatives. This is a cooperative in South London, providing work that enhances rather than replaces people's skills, helping to regenerate the economy from the bottom up. As our formal economy contracts, we've got to find ways of redistributing both the wealth and the work available through a national income scheme, job sharing and part-time working, providing local production for local needs. In a decentralized, sustainable economy, there would be more than enough work of this sort to go round, good for the individual, for the community, and for the environment. Doesn't it make sense to provide work for ourselves, even as we protect the Earth, instead of destroying both at the same time? A simple resources tax would tax the wasters, not the workers. With more people working the land, we'd be more self-sufficient, whilst the land itself would flourish. It's in our own self-interest to work with the Earth, not against it. Not only can we live within its limits, we'd all be far better off if we did. And there'd be some sort of future for our children to look forward to. That's the key to it. A vote for any of the others is a vote that denies the future and does nothing to help the present. Their politics has lost its way and lost its soul, and they know it. We're seeking a wholly different quality of life. We're asking you to affirm the basic principles of green politics. Justice for all, reverence for the earth, care for each other, and concern for the future. That's why we're standing in this election, because that's what we stand for. So please, write to us at the following address. Vote for us, join us, and affirm with us the politics of life. <laughs>